your favorite Terry Little Bacon Bear hanging out with, I feel like, DMV's little brother, but definitely like a little brother to me, Mr. Young Man E. Gang, I thought she was going to let me introduce myself. Do you want to? You can do it. Okay, so just rewind. Yeah, your favorite Terry Little Bacon Bear hanging out with? Well, it's going to defeat the purpose. I was going to say something else. Say it, say it, say it, say it. Lil Uzi Vert. Um, <laughs> yeah. But it's not funny anymore because you already say Young Man E, so it's... Whatever. Scratch that, well, scratch can that. I be Uzi? I always felt like I was Uzi. I always kind of self-identified as Uzi a little bit. My so. teacher told me I look like him. Really? Why? Why? Because we dress. We got dress and we black. Do you want to be like Uzi a little bit? He cool, but I want to be like Young Manny. I want to be like Young Manny. Now, okay. Now, since I've been here at radio, I think that there is maybe three people that most people ask me to interview. And you got to be the first one that people ask me to interview. Like number on, one? Yeah, guaranteed. Guaranteed. I was on Instagram Live last night, and some kid was like, you got to interview Young Manny. You got to interview Young Manny. It's like, well, I know Young Manny, so it's like I always felt like the interview was just like a conversation with Young Manny. Uh, facts, because we definitely like, nah, people don't even know. I met Bacon before I was even popping for, like, before I was, anybody even knew me. Had our little introduction, so we had well, a We're here now. We're here stuff. now. So, okay, um, how many years would you say that you are in rap now, or music, rather? I give it two, two, two. So this is two solid two years? Two serious years. Two serious years. What do you think that has changed the most drastically over in these two years? Um, really just, like, I don't know, just, like, how I go about my life. Like, I don't know, I feel like. I ain't really have as many worries. It's like not. I wouldn't even say worries. It's just things like things to think about. Yeah, like my head wasn't on a swivel. Now that I, you know, guy watch my back, or you know, I just can't go anywhere. Absolutely. Me, so I just move a little different now. So yeah. You know, I feel like when I first met you, I kind of told you and tried to like give like pieces of advice, like yeah, just prepare for this, be ready for this, be ready for this, look out for this, that kind of thing. But it was truly like because I saw that you had something to be, to smile about. You had some, You had something worth saving and worth talking about because like, I mean, I tell you all the time, like running in and not rap, not cursing in music was fire. You have a strong ass fan base with uh, young uh, people here in the DMV. You don't need radio for nothing. Like <laughs> you have really just kind of superseded the expectations of many artists here in the city, but just just a young artist just in general under the age of 18 at that point so i'm super impressed and i'm just glad to know you it's fire i'm a fan that's god though it's all god best believe that i mean but you're hum you're humble at it and it almost just seems like you have an air of like you've done this before or, like you're ready to do this you know uh it's just i know all these followers and the likes it's all temporary so it can be here today and gone tomorrow so i just try to carry it that way like i know that the whole rap game is like full of people who do not believe that and do not think that, which is why they just are overextending themselves all the time. I got a job though. I got to make sure my folks straight. So what's your job? Nah, it's just like I got. I don't know. I'm young, but I still got a lot of people to take care of. My family big. You feel me? I got a lot of things I'm trying to do. I do this for like it's fun, but you feel me? I kind of made this like. I chose this kind of, like, I knew this is what I really want to do, so it's like, I am already made, like, certain life-changing decisions, like, people wouldn't expect that, but I kind of already made it, so now I kind of, like, I, like, gotta do it. So, what do you, okay, what do you mean by, like, life changes? What life changes in the past two years have happened to you that, like, were, like, pivotal for you? Um, just my school situation. Before I say that, I'm still in school. I know. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, I don't go to public school no yeah. more and all that. So, just like, you know, this is just, I don't know. I had to go through a lot because I was in these programs and, you know, leaving them because I'm African too. So, remember that. You know? Af African parents don't play with at you and your schooling at all. So, you know, them even letting me leave public school, that alone, because you feel me? Education is a child's everything. Absolutely. Really. So, you know, <laughs> making a change in that was really one of the biggest ones. So that's really the biggest one right now. Um, so let's let's rewind a little bit. Obviously, school is a pivotal thing. You probably left out public school maybe 17, at 17? Nah. A little bit sooner than that, maybe? Yeah, six, 16. 16, okay. So 
What were the pivotal moments like in your school where you're like, yo, I cannot be in this classroom like this anymore, that you knew you needed to go to private school or do something different that was not going to be public school? Uh, I ain't gonna lie, I ain't gonna lie. My school is a school that definitely kept, kept me like what humble. School? Uh, Rose, Roosevelt. Oh. I went to Eleanor Roosevelt. They definitely um kept me humble, you feel me? Ain't nobody gonna be like, young man, young man. I've definitely had my incidents and stuff. Like, I tried to fist bump a kid, right? Yeah. Nah, he was, yeah, he was like, yo, yo, man. And he was like, do this, right? So he put his hand, I put my hand on like that, and he went like this. And I was like, yo, what? yeah. <laughs> Like, you just like, weird, and then I was just like, but nah, for the most part, I've had weird incidents like that all the time, but like, for the most part, it was just like, I'm a good student and all that, but my last quarter that I was in school was just bad, it was just too distracting, you feel me, trying to balance it, so I had to, you know, figure out which one was the best for me and all that, so yeah. So now you're taking, like, classes online, Fact or did you go to, like, what is that, Tall Oaks? No, 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 it's, <laughs> it's a little online, jumps, little... I go to this little tutoring place and all that, but. So you're still committed to your education. You're gonna finish high school at least. At the hundred percent. That's the last thing I do. How far are you? How close are you? Or how far are you to being done? Um, it's you a little. It's a little different. It's a little different process. It's just like, say they gave you all your work for school on the first day, and then you just yeah. gotta do it by yourself. So, it's like. I could be done in a week or I could be done in So a week. won't you be done in a week and then we can have your graduation <laughs> party and then we could just show out and then we could have Bliss hosted by young Manny who just graduated high school no, we yesterday. No cap, no cap. Like I'm just I just see vision and options. You just promised me that, so we're going to Bliss when I got Oh let's have Manny's graduation party. At Bliss? maybe not Bliss. We, there's a lot of places we could go to, but maybe Bliss. Maybe we could throw Manny's birthday party, graduation party, some. just coming of age party. <laughs> we could do some little stuff. We got vision. I like that. For the community. Um, when you are talking about your fan base, you have a very diehard fan base because they be at my next. So I know they be at your next too. It's the gang. What's the weirdest DM you probably ever got? Because I know you get some weird joints. Oh, we'll say. Say. <laughs> Some not safe for work, you know, language. And Good thing we're not at work. Yeah. Uh, nah, I can't. I can't. I won't even. It's bad. I ain't gonna, it yeah, must nah, be really. Nah, it nah, must nah, be nah, really nah. bad. Be I don't know. I think the weirdest comment I got this week was some guy. He said he wants to smell my underwear. Oh. Nah. I, I, yeah. Got, he's like, I, I want to smell your thong. I was like, oh shit. Well. I've got I, some little freaky jumps like that. Nah, definitely. Yeah, no, I, I don't. I don't know how you brace for that, or really just kind of prepare yourself for that part of the industry. Because it's like, do you do I block you, or do I just call the police? Because um, you, the horny police. I gotta call the horny police on you. I don't know. You get used to it. You get used to it. I don't get used to it. I don't know. But I can try. Um, I said to you right before this interview, but I'll say it to you here also. When Flock came in for his interview, I talked about you and I talked about like the potential for a feature, and then you got the feature. Mm -hmm. You pulled it off. It was the song's called TPA. TPA, yeah. What does TPA stand for? Uh, Ty Pedro Associates. That's the gang, right? Point there. Association. Y'all they, they can't, can't see them, but uh, that's my little accountant firm. You the feel me? So they handling my assets. You feel me? Handling that big money coming in, no cap. So when did Flock call you for the feature, or did you call him? Well, how did it come together? I definitely reached out because you know, like you know, like I said, I got into this like two years ago, so. You know, before that, before he got locked up, you know, I'm just a kid in middle school and all that, you feel me? Flock, one of our favorite rappers, and, you know, I appreciated that he stayed solid, you know, don't, ain't do no tipping and all that, so, you know, he came home. You know, I had to let him know what's up. I hollered at him, you feel me? I, I met him, it was very genuine vibes, and... Yeah, because y'all both goofy as shit. Nah, no cap. <laughs> That's my brother. They are both real <laughs> goofy, so it makes sense. That's my brother right there, no cap. Did you shoot the whole video in one day? Yeah, we woke up, man, that boy, different. We woke up at like 7 a.m. for I know. a video shoot. 7 a.m., drove out to Baltimore for a video shoot. Yeah. I, I peeped that, too. I was like, okay, I'll Baltimore, okay. Yeah, you can see it in the video. My lips a little chapped, and it's I can't. Cold. I wasn't even dancing for it. It was cold, freezing cold. Freezing. But you had, a, you had a video to pull off. Like, you got a flock feature, and you got to shoot this video one day. Definitely so. came out golden. Go watch that. Go watch that. Yeah. Can I ask you if it's, can I ask you, and you can't lie, okay? Uh, is it real money? Was that all real money? All real money. Who's real money? I can't tell you that. <sighs> yeah, I was watching like, I wonder if, 
No, I don't. I don't know. I don't know where it came from. So I'm gonna just. <laughs> I'm gonna just, just um. Um, I know that you have a new song out, and I think if I could just go ahead and just put my stamp of approval right now, maybe even my stamp of success mm -hmm. on it. OMG. Mm -hmm. OMG. I think it really, really work. I think we have a winning record here. Um, I think a lot of DMV artists, when we talk about music and what it takes to like get the song and shit to the next level and get it outside of the DMV, it's because it's just such a local, local sound. Correct. It's not that. Nah, not at all. Um, you know, I just, I've been through many stages with music and it's like, it's like, it's, I'm learning, it's like really art and for me, I, I try not to limit my, you know, everybody always talking about DMV sound this, DMV sound that, so for me, I like to experiment, you know, let my emotions like guide me through the music and, you know, for whatever <clears throat> particular reason at that point in time, you feel me, I was you feel me, in a little one in the girl vibe. I was gonna say, it gave me, it gave me, I really like this girl. I watched it and felt nostalgic, I was like, damn, I miss my high school. Like, <laughs> you know, like, meet me at my locker and stuff, oh like. So, I mean, do you, did you actually like this girl? Was there actual chemistry or was it just like, you know? Oh, the one in the video? Yeah. That's my dog right there. That's, that's my dog right there. <laughs> that's my homie. That's a, that's my pal. Now, we real close to now. Like, it's, it's, it's love, real love right there, but that's my dog. When you talk about um, highs and lows in music, what has been like your lowest point thus far? And then how did you get out of that low point? I got low points every day. I ain't gonna lie to you. from. And it's a thing that, like, nobody really understands. It's like, when you got one follower, you want 10. When you got 10, you want 100. When you got 100, you want 1,000. When you got 1,000, you want 10,000. Yeah. You got 10,000, you want 100,000. You got 100,000, you, you want a million. million. <laughs> so, you want a million. It, it, it's just like, you know, you got to really... It, it's, this, this game going to test you. It's going to test your manhood. It's, it's gonna be the comment is gonna test you. People gonna test you in person. They gonna try. You feel me? I've had incidents. You feel me? That I have had to handle and all that. You feel me? Because everybody be trying. To get I was gonna say. Speaking of tests to you, when the was that in Atlanta with the chain situation, or if mm -hmm. you maybe ended up in Atlanta for the chain situation? I feel like that was probably one of your biggest, not rap beefs, but definitely big beefs issues. You know what I mean? Tell me something. That ain't even real. That didn't happen. <laughs> what you mean it's not real? So then what the. Uh, uh, I don't know. If it's not real, tell me what happened. It was just one. No, nah, that was like the video. It was just uh, that was a learning thing in my career. It was it was it's definitely What'd a learning learn? moment. Uh, you feel me? I was trying to get into all, all them little social media antics. You feel me? Because I felt like my uh, music necessarily at that point in time it wasn't enough. You feel me? I thought I had to. Six nine my way into stuff and all that, you know, do all that antics, and it was definitely a learning experience. That for me, I ain't with none of that. I was gonna say, so you never do it again. Never again. You feel me? I ain't with none of that goofy stuff. You feel me? I'm gonna keep it my. If y'all don't like my music for my music, then y'all just ain't gonna like me. But I ain't with that. I, I can't music, do the, I can't do the goofy no more. Nah, no more. Cause that I don't know. I forgot where I was from and I forgot who I was, and then it's like. DMV don't handle that well, so you know. But it was definitely a learning experience, like I said. I um, saw I saw the real in a lot of people too. Really? Yeah. I mean, did people reach out to check on you just to make sure you were good, or did you feel like they were just trying to be nosy just to figure out what had happened? Like nobody was trying to avenge and help you. I seen some people was genuine concern, and some people as young as I don't went to school with that um, been my engineers and studios and my producers laughing in comments, the little blogs reposting it. I'm like, okay, I that way. I mean, crazy. you feel me? You see, that's not like crazy. I thought we was, you know, different. But you know what? It'd be funny. It'd be mm -hmm. funny because it's never that energy when they see you either. Yeah. They definitely smiling when they see you. And that's why I always, you know, I always try to look at situations like, what is this trying to teach me? Rather than why is this happening to me? You feel me? Like I was definitely disappointed in doing that little dumb little goofy video, but it definitely showed me a lot of stuff that I wouldn't have seen if. No, I didn't do that, so you feel me? I just sucked it up, took it on the chin, and just kept pushing for it. All of the day. No cap. Would you, um, would you say that you always learn from life lessons? Like, do you think that you always take heed to life lessons? Because, I mean, it sounds like that you're always ready to. Um, yeah. At a young age, I learned that, you know, I, I use this, like, going through life, that everything happened for a reason. 
like everything, you know, as to, you feel me? I even take it as like, if I was leaving the house to go to school and I walked back in the house because I forgot my charge, you feel me? I might have gotten in the car accident if I just left immediately the first time, you feel me? Like I've been in situations like that, like literally that, like that. Like I left something in the house and then I'm driving and it's a car accident 10 seconds in front of me that was that the 10 that seconds that, that, that was the 10 seconds that yeah, took so, you to do something else. You know, I definitely know God, like every little thing God do for a reason. So like I, I learned to move like that and move like I know that and you know, thank God for every second for do you um do you think that you project that in in your music and how do you think that you could share that kind of optimism with other people because i mean i think that especially on the internet we we see a lot of lost people a lot of people that are just living behind the computer screen and never trying to be anything greater than that do you feel like do you have a responsibility to almost like be uplifting for them <clears throat> uh yeah in a sense because it's like no I, this day and age is like led by a lot of the wrong people you feel me I don't, I don't really know who who determine like who's like at the top and who's real or not, but it's like you know stripes nowadays is determined by how much clout you got. You feel me? Not by being real no more. So it's I just see youngins just straight goofies on Twitter on the gram and the comments, and it's like these are the people that other people want to be. And you know I also experience that with like different artists. It's just like they not who they seem to be so you know really like I take mine is even if like I got a little period in time where I ain't doing the best numbers or doing you know such and such you know I just try to stay down you feel me stay real because I know long ago all the all the smoke in the mirrors is gonna be gone at a certain time you feel me the real gonna stay at the end of the day so I like to you know my 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 whole race and it ain't done yet my whole race is gonna be uh you feel me, a story for people to watch, you feel me? It ain't definitely ain't done. So I definitely ain't eating as much as I'm going to be by. I'm, um, and I'm confident that you're not done. I, I'm very confident that you're not right. done, and I think I've said that and I've maintained that since I met you. It's like, okay, this, this boy got something that there's definitely here. To, this man has something Appreciate you. that there is to see. <laughs> it's definitely something to see. Um, what was I going to say? With, obviously, we lost Juice World just like super recently, and that was I definitely super surprising, and it was super sad. Um, with this year in music and last year in music, just people losing their, their lives to drugs and alcohol and just like, just really living wrong. Um, What's your take? Uh, well, as far as Juice World, rest in peace, he was a very talented artist. Um, I think it's just all knowing your limits. It's just like, you know, I, def- I don't think there's a limit to perks. Like one is like enough. Um, yeah, you know, I don't I don't support no no drugs, you feel me? Except for I don't do it, but I you feel me, maybe the good weed gas. is I was tolerable. Say the good, the good gas, me? the simple good gas. But um, you know, everybody got their own little demons. I definitely don't advise drugs to be the way out, um, you know. But uh, you you never know what somebody going through and you feel me, everybody got a start date and an end date in this book of life, so Absolutely. I mean, I don't even say it to like in a, as a means to pass judgment on people because I think the people moving through situations as they see fit and how they see life bringing them. But like, do you see yourself at the end of your career still being relatively drug free? Yeah, facts, 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 facts. I, I definitely take my health as a serious concern. So you be in a gym? You be drinking water? Uh, I drink water. <laughs> <laughs> so you don't be in a gym. You do drink water. What's the last vegetable you had? A fry Manny from Chick Fil A. A fry from Chick Fil A. Manny don't Potatoes. eat vegetables. That's that's not. That's actually starch. But we gotta get you some vegetables. Uh, I'd be all right. Um, I ain't I ain't no beast yet, so i will be all right. Okay. All right. He needs a vegetable. Um, you know, let's get into Manny's love life. Mm-hmm. What does Manny look for in a girl? Is Manny dating? Is Manny willing to date? Is Manny looking for love? Would he date a girl from the DMV? Is he looking for his love around the world? Mm-hmm. Do you know uh, where? You know, I particularly, I ain't gonna lie to you, and I hope nobody don't bash me for this, but a lot of DMV girls ain't it, you feel me? The outside may be it sometimes, but it ain't about the outside, you feel me? Don't limit that to DMV girls. There are girls every day that ain't it. There's some let me, all right, let me say from my, from my, from my encounters, you feel me? Okay. Uh, 
You feel me? A lot of them just, you feel me? I look for foundation in somebody, you feel me? Like, long term, you feel me? How you gonna act when we on bad terms? And if I put a million of you in front of you tomorrow, you feel me? Am I gonna come back with more than a million? Cause, you feel me? Not taking a dollar is definitely great, but is you gonna just give me my million back or is you gonna flip that to two million, you feel me? Let me see what you gonna do with that, you feel me? Like, let me see it's just more than what you look like. Let me see it's more than the hair and the, you feel me, Instagram. Don't be here pic. for young Manny, be here for Manny. Yeah, Ooh. you feel me? You feel me? People don't understand that. It's just like an artist. It's like, it's two sides of them, you feel me? You got, you got Emmanuel, you got young. You got to go grocery shopping with me, but then you also got to be on a red carpet or come to my show and be alongside me. Um, so, would you, do you date in or out of the industry? Would you be willing to date a normal everyday girl that's still in school doing normal everyday life stuff? Nah, uh, I'm going to date or be with whoever God want me to be with. So, you feel me? Okay. Whether that come, whether it has come, whether it's in the future, I ain't going to let nobody know. You feel me? Would you tell me? I'd maybe not Maybe not here, but I would know. Yeah, you would know. I would, I would want to know. I don't, I don't, do, I I don't do all her. that social media stuff. I personally believe that messes up stuff. It just allows too much. I truly believe that, too. I don't think any time in my career that I've ever had, like, a public boyfriend. Because I just feel like, you know, like, if this nigga start melting down or making me look dumb, now you are a reflection of me. And now I got to beat you up, and now we ain't having fun no more, you know? Mm -hmm. Like, I just, I just feel like trying to, like, love you in public is difficult because it's, like, a different type of status where you bacon boyfriend you yeah, mean just no nobody cow. boyfriend no more you bacon boyfriend you better act like you know your boyfriend ain't a whole weight you feel i'm just me? saying like, you young man and girlfriend you can't have me out here looking dumb out here in tyson's looking dumb you gotta have a life and vision sis no cap i'm just saying i de i could definitely get behind that i feel you on that not nah, facts um in the coming year with music are you still independent do you got projects that you're trying to push what you doing um I'm just grinding, you feel me? I'm just staying in this studio, you feel me? Locked away from the rest of the world, you feel me? Because I don't like nobody. I don't like people. I hate people. Uh, really? Yeah. I, I did it, but I've... you become that way. Yeah, life hit me quick. Like, I done grew five years in a span of a year. I feel like that you are, like, almost holding back an experience that you should talk about like you keep coming back to this thing where it's like life lessons taught me this and life so, did something happen or did several things happen that were very pivotal moments for you you know what i mean that really changed that really changed you and changed young man in the view that he has of the world i ain't gonna lie that? it's been a lot of stuff in a year you feel me and i talk a lot so you feel me? We would be here. The interview would be three hours and all. But just, give me, just give me, give me a synopsis, because I mean, I I don't think that we see behind the public figures that we love enough. You mm -hmm. know what I mean? Um, and we don't find out about people's struggles and the things that they're going to and going through until it's all done. But what you have to say and the lesson that you could pass on today might be the thing that changes somebody who goes to Rose right now, or the, or the kid who's watching for flowers right now. You know, it could be that. What a grown ass man is sitting in his room in Arizona watching this joint. Um, I really, I would say, like, my biggest lesson learned is just, like, or where I learned a lot is just, like, the area of, I'm, I would say, like, you know, the people you keep around you, you know. The, I would say, like, if I would call, just relationships in general. I learned a lot about relationships. I'm not talking about boyfriend, girlfriend. I'm relationships as you keep with people. Yeah, you feel me? Just... People's intentions, you see, you feel me? Yes. Do you think that it's made you like less bubbly or, or fun? Or are you still that, but just a little bit more guarded? Um, I ain't gonna lie, like that happy go lucky man that everybody was saying. I mean, it's still there, you feel me? I don't yeah, think it's the ever gonna video leave. definitely gave that. Yeah, you feel me? But um, it it take a lot for it take a lot for it to come out now. You feel me? I'm trying to. Definitely, I mean, for me, I'm gonna keep it a buck with everybody. You feel me? I'm definitely just trying to get back in the right state of mind. I definitely believe I'm great right now, but you feel me? I just learned you can't be that happy go lucky. You can't. I can't give everybody it's not that. Not sustainable. Not. I mean, it is. It is. But I realize everybody don't deserve that, man. You feel me? Because that's that's a real. You feel me? Of course, it's the jumping everywhere, but it's a real loving man behind that. You feel me? A real caring man, you feel me, a man that put other people first. So 
You feel me? If I'm putting you first, you gotta put me first first. You get what I'm saying? I don't. You no, gotta put no, me first. No, first no, no. I, I yeah. definitely feel you because I mean, like, I had somebody say to me at a party maybe two weeks ago. Bro I was like. He was like, yeah, Bacon, I don't feel like you got the same energy. Well, nigga, I'm tired. I be work I work six nights a fucking week. Like, what do you what do you want from me? He's like, you just ain't the same bacon from the radio. Nigga, I'm tired, you know, and I don't think again, people forget that like you are a real beating heart and you got feelings, you got emotions, you got highs, you got lows, and being the bubbly person in the room. I could definitely You got like, lows. Yeah, like I could definitely say like, you know, for some of my peers, you know, that rap around this area, you feel me? Like we definitely like have conversations like we be talking, man. We miss when it's, it was fun, for real. Like, we miss just, before, before it was about percentages and money and, you feel me, when we was just doing this for the little clout in our school yeah. and just to jump around and crank with our friends, you feel me, it was definitely different, but, you feel me, again, it's the life that we chose, so, you feel me. And you got to move through it because on the other side of this also is, like, financial stability to be able to take care of, like you said, exactly. people, the people that you care about. And, you know, I think that you'll also come back to a space and, like, where things will be comfortable again, you know what I mean? You'll have, you'll have comfort around you and you can build the future that you want to see around you. 100%. That's why, that's why I really, like, when I be talking like that, it's just really, I learned everything is really a blessing. Like, you feel me? When you a kid, you say you want to be a rapper, you just thinking about the... Beyonce size house and the award shows and the Rodeo Drive shopping, but you forget it's a lot of altercations and long ass meetings. Meeting, yeah, you feel me? It's not, it's not just the glitz and glamour and the gold and all that. Is, but again, like I always say, this the life I asked for. You feel me? So. So you always thankful for it? Definitely, definitely. It's not a day that go by. I ain't. I'm just being real with you, you feel me? I don't, I don't really I don't really speak out like that when I'm being real no, with you. No, I, I can respect that. And mm -hmm. I def again, that's something I've always seen about you and you stay consistent with it, so I believe you in it. <laughs> um, what's your favorite cereal? I don't think I've ever asked you. Cinnamon Toast Crunch. Cinnamon Toast Crunch. Or Captain Crunch. Nah. But with, with or without the Crunch Berries? With. Okay. With. 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 Hey, because I was going to have to fight you if you said yeah. anything other than that. But it's like, that's... That don't too sweet for me, like, cause what? when when I eat cereal, like I got the milk in it, right? Okay. And then once the milk is done, I don't drink it. I keep pouring cereal until the milk is done. I do that. Yeah, so it's like, and me, I, I get a big bowl, so I didn't ate like five bowls of Captain Crunch by. The Why time. you didn't have to do that? You yeah. could have just stopped after the first. Well, cause, cause Captain Crunch also does not season the bowl. Mm -hmm. If you think about like uh, cinnamon toast crunch, it seasons the yeah. rest of the milk. But like Captain Crunch does not season. It mm -mm. just kind of gets kind of mushy. Yeah. So after I eat it, I can't eat it for like a year. Um. So are you a daytime person or a nighttime person? When do you work best? Uh, I'm a vampire, so I'd be like. You be up up? up? Yeah. You do kind of hit me late, like you be. I'd up be up at like three, four in the morning. You feel me? That's the way. Xbox or PlayStation? I don't play games. I ain't gonna lie. I had my a lot of my child. I had a lot of my childhood stripped away from me because. Do you feel like because you had African parents? It's because you was bad? Cause nah, why? like, I don't know. I really just grew up. I'm still a child. You feel me? I still have my child. But you want me to call you a man? Nah, but what I mean by that <laughs> is like, it's like, uh, hey. like you know. I have my moments, you know, and I, I definitely get reminded by people around me. From they be like, oh, he's just a child. You just gotta let him be. But I definitely, I definitely feel like I grew up a lot. So it's just like I don't really got time to play games. I'm trying to finish high school and get my mom out. I don't mom got time out. to play Xbox with you. No cap. I, I can relate, but I find time for the box sometimes, you know, because you know sometimes you need something to decompress. How do you decompress then? You don't. Nah. You don't. I can't say I can't say that with you. He goes in his room. And he takes a bite out of a side of a banana, <laughs> I mean, or maybe he does jumping jacks for like six hours. Like I don't know. I try to, I try to express my emotion and my music a lot. So I try to like. That's what you. It's and it's a lot of music people ain't heard like. Like I done, I done been stacking for some months now. Like, like a do uh, a Gucci Mane side discography type thing, where you got like three hundred songs in the vault, just waiting. I would, I wouldn't. Need, uh, let me not three. I probably a couple hundred, or at least a hundred that I made. Like that. Oh my God, don't that just drop? I recorded that like May. So, really? Yeah, yeah. So it's like I got some, I got some shit, dog. I got some, 
Yeah. No, no cap. No cap. No cap. I got that on the way. So. Did you um do your own choreography for the OMG video, or did it like did they have it for you? Cause I can't. Dance. I met I, I met them to... them boys in the video. They're my guys now, but I met them like a day. I met them the night before. Like, really? Yeah. So we in that zone on some Chris Brown from yeah, high school I, you music. You felt like you was Chris Brown. I could tell. I got a video on it. Uh, I got a video on my phone. Like we was really at work. I'm sweating. Real you want this? Uh. Yeah, you feel me? I feel like I'm Michael Jackson reincarnated. No cap. But you was born before he... All right, that's fine. I'll give you that. Don't worry. Don't worry about it. Don't worry. Don't think too hard. I won't, I won't, I won't think too hard. We're going to let Manny be Michael. Yeah, no cap. Um, if there was anybody that you could do a feature with from the DMV that you have not done it yet with, is there anybody? Um, yeah, because it's a lot of stuff I even got with people. I ain't that that I haven't even heard yet. I ain't going to lie. My next tape going to be. Can you put me on your next tape? Can I have a feature on your next tape? No, okay, you going to be on track one. <clears throat> I can't rap, man. You have to go, you have to ghost write it for me. I got you. Because I can't write it. I'm a little big. <laughs> just say, uh. Just say, uh. uh. You'll be good. Airy, airy. Uh. uh. Yeah. Oh, yeah. that's all I got. Yeah, that, you be good. That's, that's half of these rappers. Are. <laughs> I, I'll fit right in. I'll be just fine. I'll be just fine. Nah, you're going to be good. If there is one other way that people in the DMV could support you, what would you say it is? Um, How could they better support you? I mean, sometimes, like, certain people. Like I had to realize it. I only realized this with like, I used to when before I was rapping. I used to be in there like rappers' comments, just talking so bad about them. Like, really? Yeah, I just be so just what a little when troll. They come back and they, and they know it's yeah, you? I ain't gonna lie. I'm, I be I, you, I I've got my fair share of karma and all that. So you feel me? I be realizing how that affects somebody. You feel me? But I'm immune to it now. You feel really? me? I'm definitely, I'm definitely immune to it now. But I that's why I, like. When little kids or just be like DMing me like some real heartfelt stuff, I'd be like, dang, like I might actually really inspire somebody, you feel me? So I, I like I reply to a lot of people a lot of times, you feel me? Just tell them thank you and I love you, you feel me? Because they don't know how much that means, you feel me? You don't got a lot of good, you feel me? A little bit, do a lot, you feel me? Yeah. So, yeah. Yeah. Dang. Well, um, drop your social media so that the fans here in the DMV can check out your new single with Big Flock. The TPA joint, definitely support the video, the OMG joint. Um, I'm going to definitely say it from a little bro stance, but you look super cute in that video. Thank you. You was definitely very it. cute. I was like, oh, he not a boy no more. That's a man. You done turned 18, and now you can kick it with the rest of us. So. I'm 19. 19? Yeah. What? You just adding years on? Right. Bro, this man's 17 still. He been lying. I don't know. I don't know how old Manny is now at this point. So, officer, that's it. Ain't nobody ever going to know for real, for real. Ever. What's your social media? Uh, I got to check. I forgot. Oh. You don't know what your Instagram is no more? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> and I go to Graham. It's Young Manny, you no know, Owen Young. So it's Y-U-N-G and Manny, M-A-N-N-Y. Uh, on Twitter, that means Twitter is It's Young Manny. It's Young Manny. I T S and the same thing. Young, no O, and Manny. Period. And you can, of course, find him on my Instagram too. That's at Little Bacon Bear Manny. Before we move, can I get an uh huh, honey? Uh huh, honey. Ooh.